All right, today's question is keep my safety net or refi. So just to give you a little background on this, Lou, uh, a gentleman has four houses. One is his own house where he lives, three are rentals. The first rental, he paid, I don't, I can't say that he paid cash, but he has no mortgage on it. So he, he owns it outright. The other two, he has mortgages on them. He went to the bank. Now the bank, of course, is not going to give him any more money because he's got like two mortgages or whatever it is. And, uh, but he wants to expand, but he's afraid because he thinks I have this nest egg. There's no, nothing owing on this rental property. So if everything goes terrible on me, I have this security. So should I keep my safety net or should I refinance and go get some more houses? Oh, wow. Well, that's a great question. And a lot of people have that question because they're kind of in this place where they've got a nice nest egg and they've got cash flow coming in off that nest egg. And so that's a safe zone. That's a safety zone. Should you expand? Well, are things going up in value? Your real estate might be going up in value, but what else is going up is the cost of living, right? So if you're thinking about retirement, you should be thinking about having as as deep of a nest as you can possibly have. Now there's opportunities and going to banks is certainly one of them because of course, interest rates are low and it's easy qualifying. But just as you point out, if you have too many loans, the bank doesn't love you. The bank sees you as a risk. And so therefore they don't want to give you any more loans. Now, one of the ways I love to finance is to use private money. And I, love, love, love. And in fact, have never been to the bank and never qualified for a loan on a single family or small multifamily property. Now, why? The reason is that I find sellers that are willing to be the bank. So I'm able to take over their existing financing on the property. And if they have equity, they'll carry back some or all of that equity in the form of seller financing. So it's not what you say, it's how you say it. So magic words do matter. The presentation process does matter. And so in that process of working with sellers, we're always looking for an opportunity for them to be the bank. Now we don't start off the conversation that way. We work into it in looking at the big picture of their situation and proposing solutions that can work for them. So there's certainly a script. There's certainly things to learn about what to say and how to say it. But my advice would be to absolutely expand, but do it in a different way. Don't go to banks, don't qualify for loans and definitely look for opportunities that exist out there in the world. And like I say, Sellers don't tell you typically that they're willing to do seller financing. You're going to have to work into that. So I put you through a series of questioning and I give you the, the magic questions and the magic words to use in that process uh, that we are definitely in, in the game of the seller being the bank. Awesome. And we've got an event coming up where someone can spend a full day with you, whether they're live in person or virtually, uh, Wealth Builder Workshop. So let's talk a little bit about that, Lou. That's right. In fact, uh, Scott, I do a whole day training. It's from 10 o'clock AM to 6 o'clock PM Eastern time. It's on a Saturday. People love it. They absolutely get so much out of it. And this is my way to pay back because of the fact that this, this industry has been such a blessing to me and my family. I love to give people some information about what I've learned over this last 40 plus years of being in the business of buying, holding and selling. So I kind of compiled it into a one day and I cover finding your buyer before you even buy. I cover wholesaling versus long-term hold, giving actual numbers. And then I talk about and teach, trusts, land trusts and personal property trusts, the things that you need to protect the assets that you acquire, plus the ones that you already have. So I teach that in a full day training for only $1, wealthbuilderworkshop.online. So that one day event is always online. Uh, so definitely encourage you to get signed up for that right away. And we'll give you notice about it when it comes up the next time.
Yeah, baby. <laughs>